Question 8. So uh, we're given these formulas for the binomial expansion, so we've simply just got to substitute in for part 1. We've got A being 1 and B being delta and N being 3. So just working my way through, substituting straight into this, we get this here, which then if you multiply out gives us 1 plus 3 delta plus 3 delta squared plus delta cubed. Now for part D, we've been asked to explain when if delta is small, that 1 plus delta all cubed is, is roughly equal to 1 plus 3 delta. Well, the thing is, if delta is very small, when you start squaring it, or even cubing it, they are just become absolutely negligible, so you can exclude those. So that just leaves us with these first, with these first two terms, which is the 1 plus the 3 delta we can basically exclude the delta squared and the delta cubed. Now for part 3 we're being asked to substitute x equaling 1 plus delta into this equation here. So we're going to rather than x cubed we're going to have 1 plus delta all cubed minus 0 0.9 times 1 plus delta and so on. So that's just substituting straight in here. Now we've already established up in part 2 that we can really say that 1 plus delta all cubed is the same thing as 1 plus 3 delta. So that's all I've done from here to here. I've just replaced this with this. So then it's just a question of just following through the algebra. So gathering up your deltas, you've got 3 delta minus 0 0.9 delta, which is 2.1 delta. Gathering up your normal numbers, so 1 minus 0 0.9 minus 0 0.206, we get this. So we got 2 minus 2.1 delta minus 0 0.106 equals 0. So add 0 0.106 to both sides and divide by 2.1 we get delta equaling this. Now x equals 1 plus delta, so x equals 1 plus this which is 1.05047 which is 1.05 to 3 sig figs.